it's the most explosive way of venturing, I guess, a TV series. Your firstborn has returned. Father. Frankenstein's creature is filled with pain and longing and yearning. Did you imagine that I was dead? You know better, Frankenstein. In many ways, the creature is painfully shy, but equally, he can be vicious and prone to violence. I will strike down all those you love. He is literally pieced together. He's trying to unpiece who those different elements of him are. What do you want from me, demon? So now I have a name. When it came to casting the creature, there was never a discussion of any other actor. It was only ever Rory. He has a face which is very driven and tough, but has a vulnerability there which is, I think, very poignant for the creature. Rise and walk with me, creator. I thought, this is a face that America doesn't know the way we in Britain do. And he could bring such pain to it. And when I read Mary Shelley's book, the creature just breaks my heart. And for all the barbarism of his acts, he's mostly a very sympathetic creature. And I was really struck by that. If you ask any kid on the street to draw a picture of Frankenstein's monster, they could. But Mary Shelley writes a very particular description, which is a pale ashen face, long lanky hair, and blazing yellow eyes. And we don't shy away from any of that, because I think to do that would be a disservice to these characters in this world. You have not known horror until I have shown it to you.